So you're watching this video because you're wondering, will my business idea work? My name is Desmond Soon. I'm joined by Josh Spurl of Spurl & Associates. We are both business consultants who have scaled multiple businesses and combined we have about 56 years of business experience. It doesn't look it, I'm about 44. Josh is about 39 at the time of this video. Josh, we get this question all the time when people come into your firm or they join your business bootcamp or they ask you for business mentorship, will my business idea work? And what goes through your mind when you hear that question? They're likely missing the boat entirely about okay. how to win in business. What, what do you mean by that? So most people will think, you know, like I say, most people are wrong about most things about business most of the time, right? Yes. Um, so most people will think that business success is determined by an idea. Some great idea, right? Some invention, some, oh, I've got this winning idea. That the idea leads to the, ex the success, when right. in fact, it's not the idea that makes the success. Right. It's normally the execution of that idea that leads to success. So we see this all the time, you know, on Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, uh, it's entrepreneur come on with their, their board game or some great new invention, and you just see the faces on the dragons or the uh, yeah. the sharks, and they're like, uh, no, because they ask them all these business acumen questions. You know, have you run business? Have you sold anything? Have you, you know, what are the, the things that have you done, the marketing? Uh, and they have no idea. They just expect to get money uh, with that idea. You just, they just think that sale. And they ask them that question, have you sold anything? No. Nope. No, I haven't sold anything. But my uncle and my aunt, my mom think it's a great idea. Oh, it's, it's, it's the same thing over and over and over again. It's not about the idea. It's about the execution of the idea. Yep. You know, the number of people that become millionaires every single day yes. from boring ideas right. is mind boggling. Right. And you know, we're talking about cleaning carpets. Which is know. not a great new idea. It's been around forever. Painting walls, right? Being a dentist, right? Um, you know, we're, it could be as pedestrian as washing windows, right? People become millionaires every single day, mowing lawns, doing that, tree all, services all the time, yeah. right? Now, people also go broke doing those things too. Yeah. Right? What's, what, so what's the difference? What what makes some people become millionaires and others go broke? It's the execution of that idea. Okay. Right? And it's the it's the same reason we, we see it and you know, we've talked about it in the other videos where successful entrepreneurs will go from industry to industry to like industry. Elon Musk, yeah, we like to use Elon Musk over and over and again with you know success every yeah. single time when they switch industries. It's because they figured out the game of business. They've cracked the code, the recipe of what it takes to be a business owner, regardless of what industry they're in. They do the same things over and over again and they do it successfully, and that's why they can jump from uh, making cars to running PayPal to now flying to space. That's right. In fact, I would suggest that the more unique the idea is, yep. the higher the barrier to success is. Right, okay. Because you simultaneously have a job to educate the customers as well too. Makes sense. As opposed to, you know, people aren't confused as to why they need transmission service on their car. Right. They need transmission service on their car, because their car isn't working. It's, yeah. it's a very easy sale. It doesn't require a lot of you know education in it, right? right. But if you have a new app or a new proprietary uh, software, right? You gotta have a lot of money to educate the marketplace and build that social proof in. Yeah, There's a lot of advertising. Yeah. And it's one of the one of the, the stats that we put in the book. Yeah, in right? fact, I want to read it out here. So I got the manuscript here for Josh's book. Um, and by the way, if you're watching these videos, you'll notice that there's a pattern here. Josh actually uh, dispels a lot of myths. And that could actually save you a lot of time and money and headaches. So check out the other videos if you haven't already done so. But, you know, ideas are worthless without the execution. That's Gary Vaynerchuk's quote. Now I'm going to read from Josh's book here. The first company to sell a product in a new or resegmented market is six times more likely to fail than the company that follow into the market, Business Insider. So Josh, explain what does that mean? Well, that means, you know, we talk about first mover advantage, right? Yeah, like the, 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 the early bird gets the worm, but the second cheese gets, uh, the second worm, uh, sorry, the second mouse gets the cheese. It never should have been written that way. It should have been first mover disadvantage. That's right. how it should have been written, right? Yeah. Because when you're the first mover, you generally have to educate the new customers. Yeah. And now you also have to make all the mistakes. Now all your competitors can watch you make all the mistakes, watch you burn through your cash making those mistakes, and then they can copy what's working and replace what's not and start fresh from day one without burning through their cash. Right. So it's the reason why the first mover, as uh, although it's touted as you know, kind of the 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 ideal is that you should be first is like no, no you should be best you should execute it better and there's nothing to suggest that you're second to the party that you can't win 
Right. So, Josh, what are the actionable items? I think, uh, you know, business owners, we, we have this series, and every time you give uh, some key steps here, someone who's watching this video probably came in and said, hey, you know, does my business idea work? Um, rather, what should they be asking? As a business owner, if they haven't already started a business, what's your suggestion? Or if they've already started a business with an idea, what's the best thing that they can do? You don't want to look around in the market. Are there other people making money doing what you're doing? Right. right. Okay. If there is, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. How can right? you do better than what they're doing, right? You just got to do it better than yeah, them. Yeah, execute right? better than them, right? Execute better than them, it will work, right? Yeah. You know, if you're if you're stuck, I mean, people buy pizzas. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I have a, one of my mentors always says, like, hey, if you don't know what idea to do, you know, sell pizzas because right. people are always going to continue to buy pizzas. In right? fact, I see pizza places popping up everywhere. I see sushi places popping up everywhere. Um, may not be the most sexy business to get into, but you can learn a lot about being, if you're a brand new business owner, um, you know, to learn about how to run a business to begin with, right? I try to dissuade people from, you know, choosing businesses that they're not really interested in, yeah. right? If they're not, because it's so, it's such a long process, right? It's yeah. not days or weeks or months, it's years, right? Yeah. Especially in your first business, it's, it's generally going to be slower, not quicker. Yeah. Um, so you want to find something that you're interested in. Cross references against, are there other people who are, you know, making money in this industry? That actually has a higher degree, you know, chance of success than trying to create something new altogether, a new market, a new product, right? Okay. It's not usually your 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 the first best business to get into, right? Correct. Okay. I mean, so definitely that's important there. That you know, there's this crossroads here where you want to meet of, again, repeat that, Josh. The you know something that you something you, that you're interested in yep. that other people are making money doing it, right? right? And that you feel you can optimize and do better at executing with. That's Maybe right. that's the third element right there, if they can just do that. Yeah, you, you want to be able to do it better. Generally, being first is not all it's cracked up to be. Correct. Um, Josh, what would you say to someone who says, well, hey, you know, I've already started a business with this idea. Um, should I continue with it? None of them meet the criteria that you've talked about. Should I continue with it? Um, I would suggest you know you really need to take a, uh, a deep look at it. Yeah. If you haven't sold anything, and now you're watching this video, yeah. if my idea will work, and you still don't hit any of those three criteria, I would yeah. say no. It's, it's probably not the Cut best your losses first well. business, right? Yeah. You got to think about in the life cycle of an entrepreneur. Sometimes your biggest and best ideas is not where you should start. It's where you should finish, right? Right. You know, if uh, Elon wanted to launch uh, rockets to Mars before he had money you know, uh, made from doing PayPal or notoriety, it wouldn't have worked. He wouldn't right. have got the rocket there, right? Okay. Um, so sometimes you need a vehicle that will produce some cash. You have to learn your mistakes with lower value items first before, you know, someone's going to give you the, the keys to the new rocket ship, right? Right. Josh, what would you say to someone who might say, well, what about franchise business? That's a proven model. Um, should I do a franchise, you know, uh, should, I, should I start a franchise? If, if you're fairly agnostic and you actually don't care which direction to go, I would yeah. suggest, you know, if you're struggling with that issue, yeah, franchises are a very viable place to look because they force you into a, you know, kind of a proven, proven system. method, right? Yeah. And you're going to learn so many new skills. We talk about, you know, being an entrepreneur is about increasing your business acumen. You're right. By learning those proven systems in that franchise, yeah. you'll be able to take that Go to another business. So I'm not talking about competing with the carpet cleaning franchise that you bought. I'm talking about learning what you, you did in the carpet cleaning franchise. Going to a different industry. Going to a different industry altogether. But applying the same business principles. The over. same business principles. How do we attract customers? How do we manage the cash flow? How do we find the right team members? Right. Just apply those same principles again. You know, you'll likely be able to execute that new idea. All right. Well, Josh, any uh, action items that you want to give to the business owners here right now? Uh, if you haven't already, do comment below. Ask some questions. I will get Josh to answer those questions. And if not, myself will be answering your questions. If it's a great question, we may feature it in another video or we may pin your question to the very top to give you some kudos and shout out for asking a great question. Josh, any final takeaways? Figure out where your interests lie. Yeah. Right? Establish where your interests lie first and then see where the market, you know, where there's demand in the market. You know, we always teach people to look at, you don't have to guess these days. You yes. can do this with Google Analytics, right? Yeah. You can do it with a Google ad account and see if people are searching for something, it means they have a problem. If they have a problem, it means they're willing to buy a solution to fix that problem. I want to actually quote that because you actually did put that. I saw that in the manuscript here where you actually talked about, you know, 
I've seen the best ideas with worldly knowledge, exceptional technology, and abundant customer demand fail because of poor execution. Yet I see people who make millions by effectively executing pedestrian ideas, such as cleaning carpet, you know, uh, painting walls, million dollar idea only needs two components. And what are those two components, Josh? The two components that you need for your, your million, million dollar idea is there has to be a demand and you need some interest in it. Bingo. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Comment, let us know, and we'll see you in the next video.